Hey, it's Dave with Flipper Force, and this is a quick tutorial on setting up the scope of work notes that can be used to create detailed scopes of work for your contractors so you can receive bids for your project. Our repair estimator tool is pre-built with a repair cost database that includes common trade categories, repair items, and unit prices that can be used to create estimates for your projects. The estimator database also includes built-in scope of work notes for each trade category that can be used to create a detailed scope of work for your contractors. To edit the scope of work notes for a trade category, click on the note icon next to the category name, which will open up a pop-up window with the scope of work notes for that category. These scope of work notes will be used to describe the work that your contractor needs to perform and include in their bid for the project. For example, in our roofing scope of work notes, it states that the contractor is responsible for furnishing and installing all labor and materials in their bid amount. And it also states that the contractor should include all roofing shingles, roof vents, flashings, and other components that are required by local building codes. It then details the exact material specification and SKU number for the shingle that the contractor should purchase and include in their bid. It also states that the roofer is responsible for removing the existing roof and if they run into any kind of rotted plywood or water damage, they need to provide a price per sheet of plywood. And then finally it states that the roofer needs to clean up and haul off any leftover roof debris or nails from the project site. So all of these scope of work notes are included with each category. So if we go and click on siding, we'll see that it has its own scope of work notes. And then if we click on exterior painting, decking, and so on, they all have their pre-built scope of work notes to help you get started creating a detailed scope of work for your project. These pre-built scope of work notes are completely customizable and editable, so you can change the wording and change the formatting as needed. Once you get done creating your estimate and your scope of work, you can navigate over to your scope of work report where you can further customize your scope of work and then share it with your contractors. Your scope of work report breaks down your scope of work by category. At the top of each category, you'll find a table of quantities and repairs that you had included in your repair estimate. Below the table, you'll find your scope of work notes. You can edit your scope of work notes directly on the report which will automatically update back to the estimator. You can also upload pictures of the repairs to help your contractor visualize the repairs that need to be made to the property. Once you finish your scope of work, you can share your report using the share link at the top. Now, one of the new features we will hopefully have soon is the ability to export your scope of work document to a PDF or to a document file, such as Microsoft Word or Google Docs, which will allow you to make even further customizations to your scope of work document. If you want to save your scope of work notes for future projects, navigate back to the repair estimator and then click Save Template, which will save the repair estimator data and your scope of work notes, which will be used for estimate templates on future projects. If you have any additional questions about the scope of work notes on the estimator or creating a scope of work document, please shoot us a message in chat or send us an email.